I'm Matt Rosen from the MGH Martino Center for Biomedical Imaging in Boston, Massachusetts. I lead the Low Field MRI and Hyperpolarized Media Lab, and I am the co-director for the Center for Machine Learning. A lot of the work we do in my lab is trying to build low-cost MRI scanners that are portable uh, and can become ubiquitous. And in order to do that, we operated very low magnetic fields, typically around 500 times lower magnetic field than a, than a clinical scanner. We're very much trying to detect signals that are deep in the noise floor of our electronic instruments. The amplifiers that provide the high current sources for doing imaging and coding are also low noise. And that's the AE Tecron product and the role of the AE Tecron product in my laboratory. For us, they have enough flexibility and performance that in the early days, we were not taxing, for instance, the maximum slew rate or the maximum gradient strength at all. But now in 2021, we actually are using a lot of those features that were there all along. I think we have an interesting sort of advantage in the research community when we build our laboratory around very flexible, high performance instruments. You know, today you might have a certain need, but people come to my lab with all sorts of crazy ideas. You might say, okay, well, we have to write a grant. We need to get more money to upgrade that system. And for us, we have this incredibly flexible system uh, due in large measure to the performance of those gradient amplifiers.